Hi everyone. So I had a dream about, this was probably about a month or two ago, and I wish I could find the details of the dream, but I'm just going to tell you guys the parts that I do remember. Now this is a very specific message, so this is probably a very small energy group. This might actually only be for two specific people. Um, but in the dream, there was this like a metalhead type he was uh he's, he's like a big teddy bear very sensitive very sweet very loving um very emotionally expressive so so kind of just a big teddy bear and I feel like he got rejected by I saw a blonde woman um not like a not not like a platinum blonde it, it's more of more of a kind of dirty blonde I think it was dirty blonde hair um, she was so physically, she was a lot thinner than him. Um, and I feel like in their relationship, I feel like they were with, with each other for quite a while. Uh, I feel like she, she was very logical. So he was the more sensitive type. He was the type to kind of wear his heart on his sleeve. And I feel like, and she, they're, they're both good people. I'm, I'm not getting a toxic relationship at all. I feel like they're both very good people, but with her, I got this sense of, um, I feel like I'm going to pull some cards too to get some more in, insight on it. But I got the sense that she was more logical. She was very independent. Um, not really the dramatic type, not somebody who lets themselves get out of control. I feel like if anybody got out of control, it'd be him. Like if they were out drinking, if anything, it would be like she would be the one that would be drunk babysitting him. You know what I mean? Like he was the one that was you know, more, didn't have as much control over his emotions. And she was the one that was very strong, very logical, very independent. I feel like she might have been on, she might have been doing, it might be prescriptions or it might be uppers. Cause I just feel like it, it's feel like, it just feels like she's very strong, but it almost feels like unnaturally strong. You know what I mean? Like somebody who can just go and go and go, like somebody who's just just taking care of everything and everyone around them. I also feel like this woman might have in the past or in the present, I, I just get the sense that maybe she took care of like a, a younger brother or a younger sister, or she might have been taking care of elderly parents. I'm not sure who it is. I just get the sense that she had a lot of people that relied on her that she took care of. Um, and in the dream, I'm trying to remember the dream but I think the purpose of the reading was to give this man some kind of closure because I feel like she broke up with him. Um, and I don't, I don't think it was like a chaotic breakup. Like, I don't think that she, I don't get the vibe that she cheated on him or that she just like nothing like that. I feel like, I feel like she had too much on her plate and I feel like she thought that he would be better off without her but they actually both need each other. The thing is that she's just more independent. So she's not expressing that emotion the way that he might've. Cause in the dream, I got a good sense of their energy. And like I said, don't take this if it doesn't resonate because this is a very specific message. Um, sometimes when people follow my channel, I do occasionally get dreams that are for, you know, very specific people or very specific energy groups. And then I wake up and I, I put the message out there. And like I said, this dream was actually a month or two ago and I, I thought I wrote it down, but I just kind of forgot about it and I never ended up doing the reading. So I was called to go ahead and do that reading now. Um, let's see. Tell me more about, tell me how he feels about this. Cause I feel like he felt very heartbroken by this. I feel like she just, there might've been like a secret that she had or something. I'm trying to think. Cause in the dream I saw her on, on a, like on a bed, like she was sitting on a bed and she was making phone calls. Like she was, she has a lot on her plate that she has to take care of. Um, and I feel like she, uh, I feel like she wanted to text him or she wanted to message him, but it's like, she doesn't let herself. She feels like, like she just has too much going on and he's better off without her. I feel like he's poured his heart out to her too. I feel like he's really like pursued her. You know, he's really like tried to get her back. He doesn't understand like what went wrong. He's very confused. Um, I think, I don't know if she was very emotionally expressive. I think in the relationship, I think, like I said, I got the sense that he, in that relationship, he was the one that was more emotionally expressive, more, um, 
just very gentle with her, kind of like a big teddy bear type. Like I said, I think he was kind of like a metalhead type, um, but very, very gentle. And she was the one that was like more logical and um, not very emotional. She might, she might have like a avoidant attachment style. Like she might not, um, you know, not, she wasn't dramatic at all, but at the same time, she also wasn't really emotional. Like I feel like they had different love languages and maybe she, um, she like didn't express her emotions very much in that connection. Like they, they felt like there was a closeness between them, but I just get the sense that, um, you know, she might not have told him what she feels. Or, I mean, he would have to be the one to say, I love you first, or he would have to be the one to, to kind of, you know, be gentle and loving with her. And she wouldn't really, you know, she would reciprocate in her own way and she would let him know that he was appreciated but anyway let me see so what's tell me more about the story death the sun the queen of wands interesting the three of pentacles the ten of pentacles the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Devil, I almost feel like she, because again, I think this, I think this message is about, for whoever this is for, I think this is about giving somebody closure, and I don't think this is for I, I don't, I don't, I think this is for somebody on my YouTube channel, but I'm getting that I'm not really close to them. Like, this is probably somebody that like lives in another state that I've never even done a reading for. Like I, I didn't get, like when I had the dream, I didn't get the energy of them being familiar to me at all. You know what I mean? Like it felt like some random person coming through in my dreams. Um, but it feels like, I think she hid something from this man and I think that she ended things. She, she knew. Okay. So like I was saying, he's more the romantic emotional type and she's more logical. And so I, th I think that, you know, knowing that I feel like she knew that if, if he, she were to tell him, you know, Hey, I need to go take care of my, my parents for a little while. You know, there's too much on my plate right now. I don't know how to do this or I need to, um, you know, I, I need to focus on school or I need to focus on my career or whatever it might have been. I think that she knew that he would try to talk her out of it. But in the dream, I really got a sense. I mean, that might have been one of the reasons why she left. But I, I really do feel like she did love him. But I feel like she... Um, tell me more about the secret. There's some kind of secret here. And I think that's what he needs closure on. Because I feel like she was trying to protect him and she felt like she was doing the right thing by just kind of, you know, detaching from him and, and, um, you know, just ending things. And I, I think it's almost caused like a trauma for this man because he doesn't understand it. He hasn't been able to process it because it, it's like, you know, they were working on things, they were doing okay. And then out of nowhere, it, it's like she just you know, she might have even lied and pretended like she didn't love him. Like when, when they broke up, she might have said that she was over it or she might have pretended like there was somebody else or something of that sort. But I, I feel like she was really trying to, she was trying to be strong and do what she felt was best for him. Tell me more about what is this secret? What is, who, what, what was she trying to build? What was she trying to build with somebody? So the Son of Cups and the Devil. And the Son of Cups is about like choices, but can, it can also be illusion. And I feel like, again, it's like this woman is very strong. She's very independent, but she's almost, eh. that's why I keep getting something about drugs or something about uppers where it, it, it's like she might, she could be bipolar or she could have something like that going on. Cause it's like, even though I do get a strong energy from her, it, it's, it's almost like, She's just too out of touch with her emotions. She's not. Like she might have gotten on some kind of medication or something that kind of changed her personality a little bit. Son of Cups is like illusion and choices. And then the devil card is like, it's like pattern. So it's, it's almost like 
she made a choice thinking it was best for him, thinking, you know, if she sabotaged and if she told him she was over it and she told him she didn't want to be with him anymore, that, you know, he would be happy and move on. And she, it was, it was almost like she felt like she was doing the honorable thing. She felt like, why, why did she feel that? What is, what was, what was going on behind the scenes that made her feel that way? Yeah. Secrets. The moon. The moon is all about secrets. Justice. Nine of cups. Knight of pentacles. Knight of wands. The lovers. Five of wands. Queen of swords. Because he wanted to fight for this, but I feel like she blocked it. Like, I feel like he blew her phone up. I feel like after they broke up, it's like, I feel like he really, get, he like, he sent her a lot of emotional messages. Like, he might have drunk dialed her. I feel like he was like, you know, please just, like, give this a chance. Like, I don't understand what went wrong. Like, I don't get what's happening. Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Why did, tell me more about this. Why did she feel like this was going to bring him stability why did she feel like leaving would bring him stability a hanged man the four of pentacles hmm. give me just a minute guys i'm gonna look more into this The High Priestess, the world, she may have gotten misleading advice from somebody, hmm. let me see here, the High Priestess in the world. Page of Cups, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like she lied to him. I feel like she lied and pretended like, oh, sorry. I feel like she lied and pretended like she didn't love him as much as she actually did when they broke up. What was, I'm going to, I'm going to reshuffle these actually. I'm going to ask some more questions here and get into this. She's harder to tap into. Like, I, I usually don't have quite as much trouble tapping into people. But with her, it's like she's very... It's more difficult with people that are kind of guarded. Like, they have those walls up. And I'm getting that she's she's not the romantic type. She's not... She, she doesn't allow herself to be the romantic type. I think if she ever was the romantic type, it was probably several years, years maybe even a decade or more ago. Um... just started choking and had to pause that so she might have throat chakra blocks too um tell me more about this so why did she leave this message false person mature man concern Okay, I'm seeing the message here. I feel like she may have, with message and false person, we have a mature man here, um, I think, who was concerned. I feel like, I feel like she might have had like a father or father figure or somebody, some kind of relative that gave her bad advice. I feel like she, um, I feel like she had somebody that guilt tripped her because I kept getting that energy of, <sighs> of her taking care of somebody. So this was either like a brother or a, like a younger brother or sister or like elderly parents or an elderly parent. Um, Cause there's somebody here, there's some type of connection that she had where I feel like this person guilt tripped her. Like this person was a false person. And so they might have come off as, it's like they wanted her energy basically. 
they wanted, I feel like this, this man that she was with, I feel like he was starting to bring out that gentle side of her. He was starting to bring out that more loving side of her. I feel like this is somebody who's probably had to be independent for, you know, a lot of their life. They might've, this woman might've been raised in childhood to just feel like she had to take care of her um, siblings. So this might have been a very emotionally, mentally weak uh, father or mother that she grew up with, or maybe her parents died or something. So she had to take care of her younger siblings at a young age. Cause I'm just getting that something about just, there being a lot of pressure on her and especially coming from her family or people that she's close to. So I kind of get the sense that like, like maybe when she was growing up, it's like, you know, she had all this pressure on her. So she was raised to believe she was raised to put herself last. Basically, she was raised to kind of be a people pleaser. She was raised by someone who it's, it's almost like maybe she had to balance things out because maybe this person was mentally, emotionally weak. And so she had to be the strong one. And I feel like this person kind of manipulated her into, into being that, like maybe this man lost his wife or something. And so, you know, she was kind of manipulated to be like the little, the little child mother, basically, you know what I mean? Like she was, um, you know, there's, there's different variations of this story. I mean, it's, it's all pretty much, like I said, I think this is only for a couple people, but, but yeah, I feel like she was, she was raised that way in childhood to, to be manipulated into feeling like she had to take care of this person or she had to take care of her siblings. Like she had to raise them. Maybe she had to do the cooking for her and her little siblings because maybe the mom had left and wasn't around. Um, something like that. I just feel like this woman had it. Like she just had to be very independent from early on. Um, and so she was really taught in childhood to put her needs last. She wasn't, I don't think she got to play. I don't think she got to develop an adventurous side or a free spirited side. Like I, I feel like somebody who just, you know, she had to come home and do schoolwork and then she had to cook dinner and she had to clean the house and she had to like maybe change like her siblings diapers or something like that. Like she just, you know what I mean? Like it was just all work. Like she didn't really get to have a normal childhood. She didn't get, that's the energy I get from her. Um, she didn't get to have like a normal childhood or have a lot of friends or anything like that. She was, she was guilt tripped into um, being an adult at a very young age. And, you know, like I said, as an adult, it made her somebody who is not very free spirited, not very open minded, not very, um, not very emotional, not very loving somebody, you know, cause it's like, she was taught to put her emotions last. She was taught to put herself last. So, so it's like, she doesn't really, she has a really hard time expressing emotion. She might show appreciation. Um, cause I do feel like she is mature. So I think she does show people appreciation, but she's not the type to like, you know, go after love or express a romantic side. She's more the type that's like, you know, I'm going to hustle. I don't care how tired I am. I have to work like, you know, maybe grew up with those beliefs, like money doesn't grow on trees. Life is hard. Um, that kind of thing. So she prioritizes money and success, um, over love definitely is the energy I get. And I, and I got like, and like I said, I think she's very thin. I got like a blonde, like I saw someone that was blonde, not like platinum blonde, but it was, you know, just like, you know, regular blonde hair, uh, like, like more of a natural blonde color. Um, very thin. I'm trying to think what else I got. But yeah, I feel like, you know, I, I feel like that's part of why this connection with him didn't work out is I just, I feel like she, I feel like he was starting to really open up. Like he was starting to teach her another way of being. He was starting to kind of, um, he was giving her a safe space. And I think that she wasn't used to that. She, again, she's used to putting herself last. She is used to having to take care of everything and everyone around her. Um, let's see here. I think they might've had arguments too, because I think that he might've, you know, told her like, Hey, I want to, like, you're safe. You can relax. Like, let's just have a romantic night in. Let's just, 
you know, I think he, like I said, he was more romantic. So I think he might've been like, let's have a romantic night in, or let's, let's go to the lake and just have a picnic. Let's, let's do something relaxing. And I feel like she would have been the type to be like, no, I have to work. I need to make money or I need to take, I have all these errands to do. I can't, I can't like, you know what I mean? Like she wouldn't let herself relax. So it's talking about childhood trauma, but I also feel like, I also feel like whoever this was from childhood might've come back around and, um, actually manipulated her into taking care of him or her. Tell me more about that. Lovers, pathway, child, family room. This might even be, so, okay, so I think this actually is a bigger energy group than I thought. I thought this was only for a couple people, but this might actually be for like six or seven people or so. But so for, so for some, I am getting the message that this might've been her ex-husband that said like, hey, you need to, you know, you're not taking care of enough, you're, you're not taking care of your child. Like somebody who basically exploited them, whether it was an ex-husband or, um, in a, you know, a family member. Someone might have said like, hey, you're not, you know, you're, you're neglecting our child, you're, you know, you're going off and you're having fun, like they guilt tripped her into, into doing what was best for her into being happy, like they guilt tripped her and, and said, hey, you need to, you know, like she, she might have gone back to like an ex husband, and she didn't really want to, but he just made her feel like she was being lazy, or she wasn't doing the right thing, and that she needed to come back to, to, you know, raise this child with him, even though they were divorced. Like, I think that maybe, you know, he manipulated her into, into feeling like, oh, like, oh, our child, like, like basically manipulated her into coming back. Like, oh, our child's having nightmares and crying out for you every night. You need to be around more. You need to stop with your boyfriend. Like, you're not, you know, just something like that. Let me see. Sudden wealth, courtship, great fortune, adjudication. Yeah, it's like the community was judging this connection. Yeah, the community was, someone got in her head. Somebody got in her head and guilt tripped her is what I'm feeling. Um, it's like, so because it's like she was having like with this, this person, this man that she was with, it's like she was happy, she was good. And then there was like the judgment that came, you know, the community message of concern, like people judging this connection, people, yeah, people that didn't know. Let's see. Yeah, people that didn't could be even two men and one one woman here particularly that were judging this, but it's like people I think I think what happened and I'm there's more to this story, so I'm going to pull some uh I'm going to pull some some more tarot here. And I feel like the purpose of this is is for this man to have closure. But I feel like what happened is, is that, you know, like I said, she has this subconscious pattern of putting herself last. And so I think that, I think that she was allowing herself to experience abundance with that man that she loved, you know, that she was with. I think she was allowing herself to open up and to relax. And then I think people weren't, People weren't used to that. It's really sad because it, it just, like I said, a lot of people rely on this woman. So I feel like the people that were used to getting away with exploiting her and using her, I feel like these are people that like, you know, always ask her for rides places and are always, you know, like parents that always ask her to go pick up prescriptions or go ask her to pick up her little, you know, siblings from school. Um, and they just put all this pressure on her. Uh, and I, I feel like, I feel like when they saw, when they saw that energy shift, they saw that this man that she was with was starting to get her to just kind of live for herself and just, you know, she was starting to relax. She was starting to really, you know, learn her karmic lessons and really learn to put herself first and do what was right for her, you know, regardless of how her family or whoever else felt about it. Because this is a woman that cares a lot about what people think. Like she cares, not in, not necessarily in like an insecure way, but this is somebody who's very... um like I said, like they, they won't, this, this is the type of woman, like she's not going to go have a drink and just have fun. She's she, or, or go like travel or do something that's just fun for her. Like she's not going to do anything just for herself. She's going to always, you know, it, it's almost like she's almost like brainwashed to always think about like, 
you know, if I travel, oh, I have to take this person, this person with me, you know, otherwise they'll be upset that I left them behind or, you know, oh, I can't go drink, I can't go have a drink and just relax for the night. That's selfish of me. I, I need to be productive or I need to do schoolwork or I need to, I, I could go check on my elderly parents instead. Like she's always just always going, 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 doing, doing a lot for other people. Um, and so I think that these people that were, you know, benefiting from from that mentality that she was brainwashed into that, you know, benefiting from exploiting her like that, saw the energy shift, she saw that they, they saw that this man was trying to protect her from those family members or whoever that was that was doing that to her. Um, and they didn't like it because, you know, she might have, you know, she might have started standing up to them. Maybe in the past, it's like she, you know, she would always just drop whatever she was doing to go help them. And now she's like, you know what? No, I, I can't go uh, get your prescription for you. I I'm, I have plans. You know, I have something I have to do today. Um, they weren't used to that. They felt that energy shift. And I think they got in her head. And I think that they guilt tripped her. I think that they made her feel like she was being a selfish person. Like she was losing herself to the connection. Um, they might have, these might be the type of parents that are like, oh, I'm only going to be, you know, I'm, I'm in my seventies or eighties or whatever. Like, I'm not going to be around for long. You only have, you know, you only have your, your, your parents for so long. You better do right by us. Like, it's just that kind of energy. Somebody, somebody got in her, in her head and somebody just made her feel guilty and they confused her about this connection they they made her feel bad for putting herself first and for um you know for th this man was basically bringing about these really positive changes in her life but since she wasn't used to that since she had you know spent her whole life uh being you know with these subconscious beliefs and being raised a certain way it was very unfamiliar to her um, so it was, like I said, it was like, she was gradually accepting what he was saying and what he was teaching her. He was really helping her a lot. He was really a strong support system for her, but, but yeah, it's like people felt that energy shift and they got in her head and they made her feel bad. Um, I almost feel like, cause in, in the, I'm trying to remember the dream, but in the dream that I had, I remember that I got this sense that like she really loved this man, but she felt like he would be better off without her. And so I'm almost wondering if they might have said things to to him to her that made her feel like they might have made her feel like um like he would be happier without her. Like you, I cause I, I just like she has like so many social obligations and so many things that she has to do. And so I think that maybe she might've had health issues too. I'm just picking that up as well, that she might've had some health issues and she might, they might've like, they, these are very toxic people. So I feel like they would try anything to like make her feel like he was better off without her. What did, what did, there's something there's something with drugs too. I keep seeing that. I keep seeing like, I think, I think that was in the dream too. I feel like there was something with like prescription drugs or, um, she may have even had like some kind of mental illness, like bipolar or, um, like, like maybe she was like on antidepressants or something like that, that she maybe, I don't know if she hid it from him, but maybe she downplayed it from him. And I feel like for some, they might've gotten in her head too about that. Like, oh, he doesn't know that you deal with depression. Does he? Like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna want to deal with that long-term or she might've had like a physical health issue. And I feel like they might've just really like made her feel like, you know, oh, you're not going to be well in like 20 years. Do you really, you know, you, you don't have a future there. Like he's not going to want to deal with that long-term. But there's something with like the pills that she was taking, because I'm, I'm not getting, I mean, it could be like cocaine or something, but I didn't really, I got more of the energy of like pills. Like I saw like, like a prescription or, or some kind of something like that. Cause I, I don't feel, I don't get the strong sense that she drinks. She might drink a little bit, but I didn't really get a strong sense of alcohol. It was more like a, like prescription or pills or something that I was picking up on, um, And again, I think it would be more like an upper that she would be taking or something or something that would like numb her because I just get the sense that she's, I don't want to say she doesn't like relaxing, but it, it's like she feels guilty when she relaxes. Like if she, 
if she watches like let's like she would she's not the type that would ever like binge watch a tv show or watch movies all day like she would feel guilty she would feel like oh i could have you know i like i have to be productive at all times i have to do this and this and this like just the weight of the world on her shoulders so i don't think that she would have wanted to take pills that would like relax her because i think that would like trigger you know those feelings of like guilt and laziness in her like she's very very harsh on herself very quick to judge herself um but yeah there's something with the pills where I feel like she uh what is it with these pills what is it with the pills page of cups ace of swords the star nine of wands I almost feel like she was trying to heal something because like in nine of wands is about nine of wands is like the wounded warrior type and it could be about like a final battle but then we have the ten of swords which is you know ten of swords can be it can be like a betrayal it can be like an ending let's see I really feel like I don't feel like this woman is very mentally unstable but I almost feel like these family members put it in her head that she's either physically or mentally, they put it in her head that she's unwell so that they could pull her energy back. Because this man that she was with was really having this positive influence on her. And like I said, they didn't like that because they weren't able to use her as much. She wasn't like, I feel like she has her own car. Um, and I feel like she was like driving them places, like driving them to errands and that kind of thing. And I, I feel like, like I said, they, they noticed that she was just doing things that were just fun for her. It's, it's so, it's such a messed up energy I get from these people. Cause it's almost like, I almost feel like if she did just allow herself to go do something fun with him, it's almost like they would like guilt trip her for it. Like, Oh, like, um, like it might be like a parent or some, someone that's like sick or they have some, something going on. Um, and so it, it's it's like they made her make her feel bad. Like, let's say that she did, like, just let herself have a day to just rest and have fun and, like, go. I keep I keep hearing go to the lake. So, like, maybe, like, this man wanted to, like, take her to, like, a, like, like out in the woods or take her to a lake or something like that. And, like, I'm getting that, like, if she ever did go, it's like this this person would, like, guilt trip her and be like, oh, it must be nice to, like you know, be able to, to go out and do things like that. Like maybe this person doesn't have a car or maybe this person is like, you know, disabled or crippled or something like that. Cause it's like almost like they would just make her feel like she did something wrong for just having fun. You know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's really sad what this, these people have really done a number on her and she really needs like, I mean, I would say she needs not only to cut these family members out, but she also needs like counseling. She needs some kind of like mental help to get um to to get out of this it's like these these very deeply ingrained beliefs like you know very deep gaslighting here like they really i almost feel like these people had a kid partially because they wanted to be taken care of it almost feels like these people might have had this had like their kids because they wanted like extra government assistance or they wanted to raise these kids a certain way so that they we, they would do the chores and like take care of things when they got older or something like that like this is is ugh, it's, it's not a good energy um but yeah I feel like they let's see let me pause this because I need to try to channel and tune into this energy with the pills that I'm getting hold on you know what, I'm I'm getting that they might have actually made her feel like her, you know, having fun and living her best life and just doing things that were just for her. And these, these could be very religious parents as well, or, or very whoever this is that I, I keep picking up on that sabotaged her like this her whole life. Um, I almost feel like they might have convinced her to get on some kind of medication that she didn't actually need because like I said I don't think that this woman is mentally unstable like I don't think that she like I'm, I'm not even getting a strong sense of like how to explain it like she's very logical she's she's very mature very wise very grounded like I don't get an unstable energy at all from her but I just feel like they might have convinced her to get on like antidepressants or something even when she didn't need them 
and I'm not hating on antidepressants. Like they do help a lot of people. I think, you know, um, I haven't taken them, so I can't vouch for them either way, but it, but it's, it's like, I, I get that energy where I, I feel like when she started doing things with this man that were just, you know, just for her, just to make herself happy, just going out more, I think they might have like put the idea in her head that she was like, going off the deep end or going off the rails like oh wow like you guys went out and traveled for you know like you, you went camping for a few days like you're you know you're being reckless like you're you know like you're you're just going out there and doing whatever like when you have responsibilities like you're 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 not it, it's like you're being reckless and like I said for some for some this could be an ex-husband or ex-wife or someone that that um maybe uh you know, like I said, manipulated her into feeling like she wasn't being a good mother. And so she felt guilty. Um, but for others, I feel like this is more like a, a parent. But, um, but yeah, I feel like they put the idea in her head that she needed to get on some kind of medication because she was, again, doing what's best for her. She was having fun and they made her feel guilty. They made her feel like she was being reckless and they made, they got her on some kind of medication. Um, so that they could control her basically yeah that's that's pretty much the energy i get i feel like they also convinced her that she's like mentally not well like i said i, I feel like they convinced her that like she was being reckless somehow or she wasn't it's just such a weird energy i get it's like they convinced her that she was she was doing something wrong basically and I feel like she left to protect this man too. Like they, like they kind of convinced her like, oh, you're, you know, like, like, like she might've had some kind of, you know, nothing, nothing major, but she might've had something going on, like, like a health issue that he didn't know about. And they, they might've just convinced her that, you know, long-term he's going to be happier without her, like more happy without her. Um, let's see. What else do I feel from this? It's a really weird energy. Hmm. Okay, tell me more about this. Because I feel like with the pills, too, I, and I feel like they changed, whatever they, it, it's like she was starting to make progress with this man, and then she went right back to square one because of these, these people, you know, pulling her back and guilt tripping her. And then I think that's when she broke up with him. I think that was when she was like, she didn't want to break up with him, though. I really don't get the vibe that she wanted to at all. She felt like she was doing the right thing. She felt like she was doing what was best for him. Um, but like I said, I do feel like she's very logical. So I think that she probably lied about her feelings. Like she's she's somebody who can wear, you know, she, she can be whoever she wants to be. Like she's she's able to detach from her emotions for the most part. No, I don't, I don't want to say detach, but she's able to put on a front, I guess I should say, should say. So I really feel like she told him like, I'm over it. I want to date somebody else or I'm, you know, I, I, I don't love you anymore. Something like that. Something that was really devastating and kind of confusing for him. And he didn't know what went wrong. And I feel like this message is coming out for like closure for this man, because I think he still, you know, probably doesn't understand like what happened with that. Like, like we, you know, we were doing well, she was making progress and then out of nowhere, it's like that all that went down. Um, yeah. How did, what else did they, why, tell me more about why, um, tell me, tell me more about why she felt like he'd be better off without her. The star, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Queen of Swords. She felt like she couldn't match his energy. She felt like she saw him as her light. She really had this man on a pedestal. She saw him as, you know her safe space. She really felt at home with him. She felt very comfortable with him. But the childhood issues, like I said, got in the way. 
And I feel like she felt like she's a she feels like she's a queen of swords and she could be an air sign. But I feel more of the energy like the queen of swords is somebody who's very um I mean, the queen of swords isn't always isn't necessarily negative. The queen of swords can be very logical, very strong, but the queen of swords can also be very cutthroat, very guarded, very very cold, detached. And so I feel like she felt like he'd be happier with like a queen of cups type, somebody who's more emotional, because like I said, she started changing and she started being that person for him. But then it's like they made her feel like she was like they just got in her head again and made her feel like she was, you know, going off the deep end. And I think the prescription changed her. I feel like she um, she just feels like she, like she sees herself as more of the queen of swords type. And I think she felt like she had to go take care of this family member or she had to go like she had some kind of duty that she felt like she had to go do like she might have moved back home or moved in with somebody that like needed like someone some parent or somebody or like a sibling that needed to be taken care of. Um, and she knew this person was going to kind of keep guilt guilt tripping her and needing her in their life and whatnot and needing her to do all these things for them. Um, and so she felt like she couldn't. This man wanted her to be more emotionally available, more open, more vulnerable. And, and like she felt like like she was starting to be like that, like I said. But then when they got in the way, it, it's like she felt like like she had to pull back and like she couldn't um, give that man the energy that he was wanting. You know what I mean? She felt like she had the weight of the world on her shoulders and like all these responsibilities were going to keep getting in the way of their relationship. And, you know, I think it was the, one of the hardest things she's ever done is letting this man go. You know, she really did love him. But I just feel like, you know, it's like she felt like she's a queen of swords and like he'd be happier with like a queen of cups, queen of pentacles type. Yeah, it was like she was manifesting this new life and they got in the way because they're like, remember your, your tr you know, traditions and and how this could even be religion for some this could be like religious traditions that maybe they guilt tripped her like if they're if there's some kind of religion maybe they made made her feel bad about like living with him or something like that knight of wands the emperor yeah it's like he wanted to come in strong and then he had this like anxiety and he's he tried to yeah he really did try to fight for this connection. Let me see more about this. Let me look into this a little bit more. Um, I feel like this is more closure for this man just because like I, I, I think that he didn't understand what went wrong because like I said, I think that she lied to him about her feelings like lied and pretended like she didn't love him because she thought that was what was going to help him move on she felt like she would never be able to give him the energy that he wanted she felt like she had to prioritize you know her her obligations and whoever it was that needed her um she felt like she couldn't put herself first basically she felt like like she like ultimately what would make her happy is just being with him but i feel like she felt like she couldn't do that like she had to prioritize someone else like like i said for some it might be a child it might be like an ex of her like ex-husband or, or someone that that made her feel like you know she needs to come home and work through things because the child's not happy without her but um but she, she you know she she does have very strong feelings for this man he did bring out her softer side he did bring out the best in her um but I think it, yeah, I think it's just coming through to kind of help this man understand like what went wrong. Cause I think there was just so much confusion. He was just kind of left in the dark and, and not sure, like, you know, not sure if he should believe her when she said that, you know, she was over it or, or whatever might've happened. Let me see here. Um, what do I want to ask? Let me see. How does she, how does she feel about this? Yeah, you know, it's like the desire is there to build with him, but she's blocking herself with this Queen of Swords energy. With the Empress. The Three of Cups. 
Yeah, it could be a child for some. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. It's really sad because it's like all this mixed energy. Like she really actually does miss him, I feel. What else do we need to know about the situation? Yeah, he brought out her childlike side. Like, he brought out that innocent side. There is a lot of nostalgia there as well. The hanged man, the knight of wands. Page of cups, king of swords. Four of Swords, One of Wands. She might also be worried that he just hates her at this point. That maybe he's, maybe she might be a little bit worried that he won't forgive her for, um, for everything that just happened. You know, like for what she said and what she did. I mean, I do think. Let's see. What's what's the potential between this couple? Like, is there is there any hope really for them getting back together? She would have to stand her ground with these people and with the childhood wounds that she has, that would be very difficult. Um, she would really need to I feel like whatever prescription or whatever she's doing to cause a personality change, whether it's antidepressants or something else, there's something that she took that that caused some kind of personality change here that it needs to be addressed. Um I don't think that she wants this man to wait for her. I do think that she does really love him. I think she does see him as her light. She does see him like she does really miss this man. But she's doing what she feels she has to do, even if it's not right. Um, I think she wants this man like ideally she would like to be with him again. Ideally, she would like to come home to him and, and have a future with him. But I think she also doesn't want him to... She doesn't want him to, to let his life waste away for her is what I'm feeling. You know, as much as she loves him, she doesn't want him to. She would be sad to see him with somebody else, but I think she would also be happy for him because she does have this genuine love for him. So I, I feel like she um like she kind of sees him as like above her, like she sees him on this pedestal. You know, like she, she he's kind of everything that she wishes she could be, basically. You know, he w she wishes that she could live her life the way that he lives his life. But I think it's like, like I said, ideally he she would like to be with him. But I mean, that could be like years down the line. Um, and, and she's not sure if that ever could happen. You know, she doesn't know. It, it's like, but she she doesn't want him to... I'm not feeling like she wants him to wait. She doesn't want him to put, she doesn't want to see him sad. She doesn't want him to be depressed over her. She doesn't want him to stop living his life for over her. Um, like she might be checking on his social media too. And like, she really wants to see him like living his best life and like being happy and like meeting people. You know what I mean? Like she wants the best for him. She wants him to, she wants him to be okay. She wants him to be healthy and happy. Um, is there potential? It's kind of up in the air. It's not like a definite yes, but it's not like a definite no either. It's, it's more of like, a she would have a lot to heal. Um, this family member is probably going to keep, this family member is like a psychic vampire type and they're probably going to keep draining her energy to be honest. So she's probably not going to get very far if this family member is in her life. Um, and like I said, she's been brainwashed her whole life to think that this is normal. That's the problem. You know, if you were dealing with a woman that like, let's say that she had like a fairly normal childhood and then she had like a, a best friend or some, someone that came into her life and guilt tripped her and did this to her, there would be more hope there because it's like, she would be able to, to see that this isn't, no that this pattern isn't normal and she could stand up to this person and be like, Hey, no, screw you. Like. I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm not going to be used. I'm not going to be exploited anymore. I'm not going to run all these errands for you anymore. I'm not going to be guilt tripped anymore. But the thing is, you know, if you're dealing with a woman who's, who's been brainwashed, you know, since she was a baby to be this way, 
This, this is, this is familiar to her. This is, you know what I mean? Like this is in her comfort zone. This is all she knows. And so it'd be almost like starting from scratch with her. And it, it's like this man was rubbing off on her. He was starting to, to really help her see a different way of being. It was very unfamiliar for her, but it, it was, you know, she was starting to open up a little bit there with that. But, but again, she would need to get off the, pres whatever, whatever she's on that's made, that made her kind of numb. That's, that's an issue as well. Um, but she would tell me more about this because she would really have to like make these changes and stand up for herself. And again, it, it's, it's really sad to say, but it's like, I just get the energy of, she feels like it's normal. Like this person could yell at her. This person could be like, Hey, go, you know, you're, you're not going out, you know, you're not, you can't, you can't go have fun. You need to go run these errands for me. And she, like, she doesn't think anything of it. She just feels like it's like a normal thing at this point, since it's what she's used to since, you know, since she was a kid. Um, so she would really need some good influences on her to be able to change that pattern, to be able to see, like, she hasn't really had much experience with seeing the other side of things. You know what I mean? Like I said, she didn't really have a lot of of uh like friends or a lot of fun experiences even growing up like even as a kid she didn't really get to go out and she was very sheltered I feel like as a kid she didn't really get to go have all those experiences um so she would need that she would need that that support that those new experiences um I would say maybe this man could try being her friend but like not put any pressure on her because like I said, she is very logical and she can say, she can hurt this man a lot because she can, like I said, she can say things she doesn't mean. She can be like, oh, I don't love you. I'm over it because she's, she's going to say whatever she thinks is, is best for this man. Um, she needs, she needs some friends in her life. She needs people to show her that this isn't normal. And it's, it's going to, I don't know. I, I'm not getting a whole lot of hope, honestly, but if there is hope, it's going to take, it, it would definitely take a while. It'd be a lot of effort to kind of show her, like I said, because she's not experienced with that. So she would really need to see the other side of life. She would need to really, you know, see that there's another way of, of being, of, you know, living for yourself and not for everybody else. And I'm almost wondering if this could even, if this reading might even be for the woman, maybe this, because I thought it was for the man to give him closure, but I'm wondering if it's for also for like the woman to kind of show her, um, you know, hey, this pattern isn't normal. You can cut this, you can stop this pattern and you can go be with this person. You don't have to put your happiness last. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not selfish to do what's right for you. It's not selfish to to let yourself be happy and go have fun. You know, it's, it's, you want to live your best life. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, she, she needs a lot of healing with this. The sun, three of cups, four of wands, six of cups, page of cups, king of swords, the emperor. Yeah, she might be afraid that she ru that she ruined things with this man. She might just be afraid that he might, because maybe they haven't talked in a while, so maybe she's afraid that, like, he hates her or something. Like, maybe he was, because I feel like he was really trying to win her back at first. Like, I feel like he was, like, calling her all the time and, like, trying to be like, hey, like, come home. Like, let's work through this. I don't understand what's going on. Like, he was just left in the dark, you know? And so I feel like maybe if a lot, if a lot of time has gone by and they haven't talked, I feel like she might be afraid that, like, if she made some kind of gesture that he might just like, she doesn't want to interrupt his life. Basically. She doesn't, she knows the pain that she caused him. And I think that she just keeps telling herself like he's better off without me. Um, cause she doesn't know if she has anything to offer him. Um, cause like I said, she, she might very well still be in this situation. She might still be in the situation with like an ex-husband where she really has to prioritize her child over everybody else. 
or like with this family member that makes her feel like, you know, she has to like prioritize them and take care of them. Like whatever it is, there's like this, this social pressure, this obligation that she feels like is in the way of their, you know, them being together again, of them connecting. Um, and she just doesn't know if, if she can really give him the energy that, that he wants and be that queen of cups for him. She feels like she's more of a queen of swords type. But yeah, I feel like there's like a little bit of fear because it's it's almost like she's she's not really very happy where she's at. And I feel like he's almost it's like he's almost her safe space. Like she's always just going and going and going and has, you know, doing all these different things. But I feel like she does really miss him. And I just feel like if she were to message him and he were to be like, you know, screw you, like you told me off, you told me you didn't want to be with me, I'm, I'm not trying anymore, like I just think it'd be devastating for her, so like she might be too afraid to message him, I think she's also afraid of like, you know, like I said, she's like afraid of like interrupting his life, she's afraid that, that, you know, maybe he really is better off without her, that, um, You know, she's, she's, you know, like I said, she has these other priorities that she has to put first. And so, so she feels like she can't really do what would ideally make her the happiest, you know, which is to be with him. Um, and, and for this man, I would suggest, like I said, I would suggest trying to be friends with this woman, just, just, you know, being friends, just being supportive with her. But, but I would not put all your eggs in that basket, to be honest, because, you know, like I said, she is, she does have these other priorities. She does have these other obligations, um, it's 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 too uncertain for for this man to to uh get his hopes up too much with this is is basically what i'm saying you know what i mean like like she this pattern of hers like i said it's going to be very if she, if she even is able to heal it it's going to be very hard to heal it it's almost going to be like she would have to start from square one um there's a lot of changes that would need to be made. She would need to stand up to this person, which I feel like she might be living with this person. So I feel like it might be very hard for her to stand up to this person. But I, I don't get I don't get this coming together like anytime soon, at least not in a romantic sense. Um, I feel like they could be like casual friends, like they could, you know, develop. I, th I think that the communication could potentially, uh, you know, start taking place in the near future again. Um I don't think she would be the first to reach out though, but, uh, but yeah, that, that this man should not put all his eggs in this basket though, even though there is mutual love here. I think that, I think that she came through primarily to give him closure to say like, you know, I didn't mean the things I said. I actually do really love you. You did change my life. Like you are important to me. You were a light in my life. Um, I just, I have to take care of my kid or I have to take care of this family member. I have to, you know, like, like I have these other things that I have to do. Um, so I'm not able to prioritize my happiness, even though I want to. And again, that's not necessarily the right mentality, but that is her mentality that she's developed since childhood. Um, so I guess it's perception, whether that's, you know, right or wrong or whatever, but, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that even though she does miss him, I don't, I don't see her necessarily caving to those emotions. I mean, there's potential for it, but like I said, she's more logical. So she, she's not as likely to like cave to those emotions and, and reach out. She, she would need to, like I said, she would need, and she needs more than just him. I think she needs friends in her life too, that could show her those, those examples, like show her that it's okay to live for herself and for her to go out and do fun things and have life experiences. Like she's, she hasn't had enough good life experiences and, and, enough fun experiences in her life for sure like she needs to travel she needs to get out and do things um but yeah I think she wanted to give him closure because I think that she kind of feels like he's just waiting for her to come back and she I mean he probably feels that she misses him he probably senses despite what she might have said to him I think that he probably does feel like her kind of longing for him and and wishing that things could be easier, wishing that things could be better between them. But but even with that said, I, I do feel like she does want him to, you know, go out and, and have fun and live his best life and meet people. Like, she doesn't want him to be sad. She doesn't want him... Um, she wants to see that light back in his life, you know, that light in his eyes again. She she wants him to um, to do what's best for him. She wants him to be 
happy again. She wants him to, she wants to know that he's doing well. She wants him to be, to be okay. Um, you know, she might be kind of sad if he met somebody new, but like another, another part of her would be happy because she's like, okay, well that, you know, like she'd be happy to see him happy. She would be, you know, it, it doesn't make her happy to feel like he's just not living his life. You know what I mean? Like that make, that just makes her feel more sad. That makes her feel like, you know, like she, like she really wants the best for him. So I think she's telling this man, you know, it's okay to, to meet new people if you want to. It's okay to, to love other people if you want to. Um, I mean, there's some potential between them, but like I said, it'd be very difficult for her to get out of this pattern. I would suggest that this man be friends with her, very casual, but don't, don't put all your, this man shouldn't put all his eggs in that basket. He should still be open to other people. Um, because this could be years down the line. Like this might be your person, but this could be like maybe 10 years from now, maybe like eight or nine years from now, this, this parent dies and she's able to come back to you or something. You know what I mean? Like it might be a long, long way away. So if this is your person, do you really just not want to have any, you know, new life experiences the next decade or so? Like, I mean, it could be something like that. You know what I mean? Where it, it could be, you know, like they, they could potentially come back together, but it could be a really long way away. So it, it's like one of those energies of like, you know, hold space for this person, be open to them, but don't, don't wait for them. Just kind of live your life in the meantime. Um, and know that if it's, if it's meant to be, it'll come back around. And like I said, maybe try to be, you know, casual friends with this woman and, and give her some support without, uh, draining yourself emotionally for her. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. So thank you guys for watching.